The RF340 DRC is a wireless control that easily connects to existing industrial overhead garage doors to provide remote control operation of the up, down, and stop functions. Installation is simple and can be accomplished in less than an hour. The RF340 DRC is powered by a 110 volt plug-in power supply and provides contact closure so that it will work with most garage doors. The control connects directly to the operator switch which will continue to function normally. Up to 40 three button key fob transmitters can be programmed to work with each receiver. And we also offer as kind of unique a 12 button transmitter that can control four separate doors. The small waterproof antenna can be mounted either indoors or outdoors. With the antenna mounted outdoors, you can expect a range of up to 500 feet. In our particular installation here, we're going to install the antenna on the inside simply because we don't have the range to operate more than probably 50 feet. Jeff is going to demonstrate the typical installation. First step is to install the receiver next to the operator switch. We provide 12 inches of wire, but it should be mounted fairly close. It's a robust enclosure, and there's two mounting tabs. You can use either one or two. It'll stay just fine. So that, it's as simple as that. Uh, now we take the cover off the operator switch. And our control actually provides relay contact closures. There's no power to speak of in the unit at all. It's all low voltage, so it's perfectly safe and you don't have to worry about disconnecting power. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna first take the bottom knockout out of the operator switch. And that's where our wires are gonna come, come in. You can use a grommet or something if you want them. For today, I'm just gonna run the wires through and connect it. Just for simplicity's sake. The wire colors are all listed right here on the box. And it, uh, for, for the up direction, you hook up violet and green. And they go right on the open switch? Go right on the open switch and it doesn't matter which side you hook the wire up to. So in this case, the green's going to go on the right and the violet on the left? Yes. As Jeff pointed out, all the connections are labeled on the box. Next, I'm going to hook up the uh, black and the brown wires, which are for the closed switch. And it's pretty easy to tell in, the, in that operator switch which screws are for which button. The open, they're, they're right across the center of the button, and the same with the close and the stop. As you're uh, connecting the wires, you just have to make sure that the wires that go up to the operator itself do not fall out. So make sure. Now, the, the stop one is a special one. You only, you only disconnect the one side. It's a series connection because the stop button is a normally closed switch. So just the one wire comes off the side. Either one of them? No, do the one that's not common to the other ones. Okay. So in this case, it's at this on, on the left here. So you take off the wire on the left side. Yep, and the uh, red and the orange wires are for the stop function, so you hook up either one of those to the switch. And then the last Indeed. connection. With a wire nut? Yep. And the wire nut's included in the kit. And this is all small, uh, small gauge, low voltage wire. That's all there is to it as far as the wiring goes. Place the cover back on. And the nice thing about this control is the, the, the operator switch will continue to work just like it always has. So now the cover is replaced on the operator switch. And the receiver is powered again by uh, just a... Uh, plug-in power supply that puts out 12 volts DC. Well, this one's already been plugged in. So, uh, so it's this, plugged this into an outlet. We're, we're actually using an extension cord to reach the nearest outlet. So that's plugged in and then we have to plug in the antenna. And again, you can mount that outside for really long range and if you're in a steel building, uh, you'll get a lot better range having it outside. In this case, 
it's fine. We're only going 50 feet, so we're mounting it inside. We've already put in the uh, the two screws to hold it up, and then just and, slide right on. And there. that antenna is waterproof, so it's it's impervious to just about anything. So you connect it to the building somewhere. Just plug in a little two-pin connector, three-pin connector, and it's ready to go. So then if Jeff picks up the, uh, the transmitter, we have to program it. So here's a uh, typical three-button key fab transmitter that's used with this receiver. You uh, hold the uh, button down until the light comes on, and then just simply press any one of the three buttons, and uh, it'll program. Then you wait for the light to blink like that, and now you're done. So that, that key fob transmitter is tied to this receiver. It won't work with another receiver in another building. Um, and so it, it has good security. I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I'm open, I can stop it. And I can close it. So if I, I'll take the transmitter and I'll go outside maybe about uh, 80, 90 feet from the back of the parking lot and give it a try. Operator switch again, the uh, open functions normally, the stop function, and the close functions. We also offer another unique item for, for use with this system, and it's a four door transmitter. So basically, there's three rows or four rows of three buttons, so you can operate four doors. Uh, four separate doors, and they're all programmable. So if you have a car dealership, a service department, and you have multiple doors or whatever, uh, you can program this to work with like up to four of them. So this is our warehouse, and we have uh, two receivers installed on the two doors, as you can see in the, in the video. Uh, I've programmed button one on our multi-button transmitter uh, button one to activate the door on the left. Button two will activate the door on the right. And the third set of buttons I have set up so they'll operate both doors simultaneously. So this is the left, the number one, close. There's our stop button and our open button. So it's nice and snappy. If I push button two, Close. I'll push stop and open. And now the third set of buttons, and this is kind of unique to our system, is I can press close and both doors will close simultaneously. Stop, both doors stop, open, both doors open. So that's great if you wanted to open or close all your doors at the beginning or the end of the day. Okay, so now we're standing 200 yards or 600 feet away. So if I press to close for the left door, there comes the left door. Now I'm going to push stop, and I can stop the action. If I push close on the right-hand door, it comes down. Again, I push stop, it stops. So then if I go to three, which is both, and just push open, both doors open. So that's quite a distance, 600 feet or 200 yards. And that's about the typical range you can expect. With the antenna mounted outside, that's kind of a key. In this uh, application, we put the antennas on the outside of the building and routed the wire through the steel siding. It's also important to note 
that the transmitters work with the doors, but once you uh, have the transmitter uh, programmed and you push the program button a second time, it'll erase it from memory. So if a transmitter is lost or stolen, simply reprogramming the receiver will permanently disable that stolen transmitter.